going to learn on uh, inbound properties how to retrieve values from inbound properties and uh, how to work on MEL so it's a mule expression language which we use inside expression and you can use it anywhere means you can define methods on it inside the mule flow so for elaborating all these uh, I'm using one uh, service the service would be like is the converting of temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit and for this I have taken this whole flow I have created this whole flow here so first I will start with uh, the normal uh, uh, input and output what we are gain, uh, gaining here so here you can see this is the URL so this is th this part is the inbound properties and parameters which we are passing to this service this API and in return you are getting this value so how we are gonna do that okay so first I will go to the flow so here we have HTTP component which is uh, when, whenever you are requesting it's going here the request is going here from here it is being passed and I am retrieving this these parameters which has been sent through the URL there from HTTP so you can see here this message in bound properties and then the uh, value so this is what we are passing here so you can see the value is 100 and the second thing is uh, how to retrieve the same way we have to retrieve the units why we are retrieving these two parameters is uh, here so suppose in the request I am sending something like uh, values 100 and unit is FHR so right now so if the Fahrenheit is the unit which you want so you can see here on the choice component if it is degree means Celsius we are sending the value it will go to this flow and here the important thing which I wanted to uh, tell you guys is like how to import and how to how to work in the expression using the mule expression language this uh, this is important because a lot of people face a challenge here writing uh, logic inside it it's very, pretty much similar than uh, the way we write in Java the difference is we are not defining any class or we are not defining any main methods I have seen people doing that so this here whatever um, suppose here this double class I have imported it's a, it's, a, it's a part of Java lang package and because I have to operate on uh, double uh, uh, variable here so and and last the important thing is that whatever you do the operation the result should be something returned in the payload and then this payload will move ahead so it's similarly uh, it's very much similar the way we write a method in java and return something to the calling method so the similarly we have to put everything instead of return statement here we have to put payload equal to temperature because all operations inside the mule flow is based on message and then we are doing the set payload value in Fahrenheit is that payload whatever value we have retrieved so it's pretty much simple flow the same thing has been done in case of uh, when we are converting from uh, if you see the choice router it's like if the unit is FHR it's already in Fahrenheit and I have to do uh, I have to convert it into Celsius so here the same logic you can see the same thing is happened here and this way we can use the expression component which is very powerful whatever logic we can write if you don't want to want to write uh, full java component there and you want to implement that it's pretty simple and easier here doing it uh, through expression component and then you can uh, showcase your result so this was the overall flow and uh, i am already running it so i will show you the results here so suppose i am giving it uh, the value is degree okay and the value is hundred so its value in Fahrenheit is 180 degree so you can see the converted you can see the result here the important point to note is how to retrieve value from the inbound properties parameters and you can see how to retrieve this whatever value you are giving and the second important uh, point was how to convert this this choice router is nothing is just like a if else loop you write in Java and any programming language you write and here you have to take care what flow bars I have uh, provided these values in a variable I have put in a local variable and I am retrieving this value based on these values only 
it's going to a different flow subflow here means not subflow it's like a division of the work i have done inside the choice router so which direction it should go that's all thank you